There's something known as generalized reciprocity. Uh, you've probably experienced this if you've ever been a kid. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like, oh, wait, I was a kid once. In generalized reciprocity, your parents get your parents, you know, when you were growing up, they bought you, you know, clothing and food and so forth. I know before class you were joking about going to the nursing home where it's like, oh, you know, I'll pay you back one day. But it's you know, that's not essential that you pay them back. Uh, outside of a family, generalized reciprocity often goes from high status to low status. So let's say we're all out somewhere and I happen to run into you. Uh, and then I say, why don't you come join my table? It, there's a sort of expectation that I will be paying. And they're like, sweet. Though if you'll ever see me out, you'll have to buy me a beer. Uh, <laughs> but generalized reciprocity. Uh, I have this with my uncle, even though like, we're now you know, much our age difference. We're now both adults. It's, you know, whenever we go out, it's like, okay, I'm your uncle, so I have this generalized reciprocity where I, I pay for things. Uh, I, one of my oldest friends in the world uh, does generalized reciprocity. He's been my big brother figure since I was about 12 or 13, and he does this generalized reciprocity. Uh, here, I actually don't know the provenance of this particular picture. Uh, this, is my, this is one of my oldest friends in the world, a guy named Greg Logan, awesome, awesome guy. And he was like my big brother from the time I was 13. And he has done so much for my life. You know, if y'all have someone in your life who you know that you wouldn't be where you were without them, that's my Greg. Uh, awesome guy. Oh. <laughs> and no, he is. He's really, he's really, he really sort of stepped in and he was like, you know, the way he tells the story is we met one day and I was like, will you be my sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> I tell the story a little differently, but... <laughs> And he's been a close friend of mine for a quarter century now. That's a long time. And he's still a part of my life. Here he is at a graduation when I was getting my degree. And we still talk. I saw him last year. But, you know, I've had conversations with him. Like, Greg, you know, I can never pay you back for all that you've done to my life. And he's like, he's like I know. But you will pay someone else back. <laughs> so, you know, it's like pay it forward kind of reciprocity. And uh, it's, a, it's been a very sort of humbling message to go, okay, I'll never be able to pay this one man back for all of his kindness, and all he wants me to do is be nice to someone else. Bastard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's generalized reciprocity. This is sort of a great example, and I just want to give a shout out to my, my good buddy Greg. Uh, but there's other reciprocity that y'all know about. This is balanced reciprocity. And in balanced reciprocity, uh, you expect the tabs to be kept kind of similar, right? But yeah, I, I need your clickers because I've gotten some discussions about balanced reciprocity. Let's see if we can think about how to do this, right? So in balanced reciprocity, uh, you know, I'll give you a gift, you'll give me a gift, etc., etc. One of the discussions that I've had with some people is how to do balanced reciprocity. So we can think of some options here. Like in one option, like let's say tonight we go out and I go, I don't have, I don't have any money. Right? All right. So one option might be that the next time I pay. Right? So that's one option, right? Or you know, next time I pay, or the next time I see you, you know, like, oh, you loaned me 10 bucks, here's 10 bucks the next time. Another option is sort of a uh, when you need it kind of uh, thing, right? But I don't pay you back next time, but, you know, Byron says, hey, let's go out. And, uh, and I go, you know, I don't have any cash. And he goes, well, you pay, you know, remember, you know, uh, I think of this one as sometimes, you know, I'm either paying you back or you'll pay me back one day, <laughs> right? You know, I'm not keeping an account. So I guess the question here is, do you keep a solid account or do you keep a sort of flexible account? That's the first question. Which one do y'all think y'all do? Let's, yeah, which test which one do y'all do? Let me have a follow up. So, five, four, three, two. I'm just curious what other people do. Three, two, one. So, this is with your friends. Do y'all keep it sort of solid or flexible? So this is going to be my follow up. It's great we got some disagreement. Is this an indication of the health of the friendship? 
we have, we have some people who, who do the other one, so. Like, what, you're shaking your head yes, do it. What? You want to vote? No, no, he has to. No, no, we, you know, it's, it's basically one third, two thirds, but like, I'm, I'm wondering here, because, you know, I have, I have friends who are salt, but they, they are like this, and I very, this is just me, but I very often feel kind of, I don't know, weird. Like, okay, um, yeah, I paid last time, but you don't need to pay me back today. Uh, Emily, you were, you were shaking. I actually voted with the solid. Um, that's more my method than the way I feel like to do things. And I feel like it's more straightforward rather than sneaking around. It's not sneaking around, but in a way, it just feels mysterious. Like, it's just kind of like, like you're unspoken. And to me, that makes me uncomfortable, and I'd rather just have things up front. Be like, hey, you paid for my pizza last time, let me just grab you. I'm gonna grab you this time. What about you know, you know your relationships where it's where it's more I got some hands behind y'all. So I don't know. That was one of my questions. Like in relationships, would you do the same? You're dating a guy. Yeah, I mean, I have a boyfriend right now, and that's just kind of how we keep it, and it just makes everything more. I just feel like it's easier. Okay, it's it's less difficult. You don't have to really like be worrying about like wait last time did you do it or not. It's just do you, are, you, are you precise about it? Like if your pizza was 10, 12? I'm not 12? like super precise. <laughs> <laughs> like the same area. Oh, I've had friends who are super precise. Where it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, hey, last time you bought my pizza, it was 11, it was 11 bucks, and I only have a 10. They're like, you owe me a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've noticed, like, I have friends that they don't even like each other. Oh, those... oh, oh, be like B, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So they're violating the reciprocity. So that's when I go to A. <laughs> <laughs> so you would so you would say your default is B, and then if you find that you're taking advantage or they're not meeting reciprocity, go to A. So I'm like I'm kind of I'm, I'm really kind of curious because I don't think Emily is saying that she defaults to B and then goes to A and it's bad. My initial is A. I'm wondering if there's a difference here. I got some people behind y'all. Are you are you stretching? I would say if B doesn't work for me, then I just. So Emily wants to pay you back, though. What are you going to say to her? If they want to pay me back, then okay. Like the next time. Like, you know, you got the next time. Well, it depends on if I need it. Like, if, if it would, like, actually help me out, then I'd be like, okay. But if I really don't need it, then I'm like, nah, I don't worry about it. What if you loaned Emily money? I'm sorry. What if Emily loaned you money, and the next time y'all went out, she went, I paid? Would that, <laughs> would that, would that, would that, would that cause any stress? Money, yeah. yeah. I mean, of course I would. I know, I know me as well, because I'm the type of person where, you know, you're, I'm never going to owe you anything. Yeah, you know, I'm always make sure I'm my side is straight, but I notice that I'm flexible, but I notice like family sometimes, they kind of, it's kind of aggravating because I guess they know I have it, so they'll just, like she said, they'll just take advantage. Yeah, they'll take advantage of it and kind of like, you know. But you would say you do default, like, I mean, I, I don't know, that's, I mean, it seems like you have two thirds default to B, then one third default to A. It depends on the relationship. Yeah. You know, I, wonder if, I often find that relationships when mine are going sour is when I do A. That's why I was sort of, you know, intrigued. It keeps it from going. It's kind of It's like all my really close friends who just kind of do a we go out for drinks and then next time he'll probably buy all of them. Or we'll be like, you bought the, like, the last two, so I'm going to buy you double drinks. <laughs> 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 can, can I start with you on Wednesday? Friday? Oh, 